Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. Uh, this week we're looking at uh, some few short verses in the book of Acts that deal with uh, baptism and how the early followers of Jesus approached that sacrament. Uh, a couple of years ago, my family went on a road trip. Uh, one of the places we stopped was the Civil War uh, battlefield of Antietam uh, in Maryland. And the second stop on the tour, the guided tour of Antietam is uh, a church called Dunker's Church. And I wondered why uh, it was named Dunker's Church. It was a Mennonite church. And I learned that uh, very uh, sort of self-explanatory was called Dunker's Church because they, they dunked their members in the Antietam Creek to baptize them. And that reminds me that we all, we Christians have lots of different rules and methods and approaches to baptism. Uh, some denominations dunk in the river or in a, a pool in the church. Uh, some insist that you must wait till you're an adult. Sometimes uh, you baptize when you're an infant, as we do in the United Church of Christ most of the time, although we baptize at any age, but that's the norm. Um, and in the Catholic Church of my upbringing, they would baptize several people on a Saturday afternoon, one after the other. Whereas in our in our uh, tradition, we baptize during a, a worship service on Sunday morning. Sometimes with all of these rules and, and different approaches, we can sort of have sort of an insider mentality, as in we're doing things the right way. And, and whoever else doesn't do things our way, it's not a real baptism. It, it doesn't it doesn't count. Uh, but this story uh, in the book of Acts, and, and in fact, baptism and the the coming of the Spirit, the descending of the Spirit in the book of Acts uh, is a very different sort of of, uh, of enterprise. Uh, in verse 14, we hear the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God and, and the Spirit of God and baptism was given to Samaritans, outsiders. And in fact, if you read through the book of Acts, you will see that the Spirit comes when when barriers are broken, when the disciples, the followers of Jesus, venture into new geographic locations, new sociological areas, new groups of people, outsiders, that is when the Spirit comes. And that teaches us something very important about, about following Jesus and, and the sacrament of baptism. And that is that, that all the rules that we come up with and construct for ourselves are not nearly as important as an openness to the working of the Spirit of God. Amen.